Hey everybody, welcome to BI land. If you build Power BI reports, this is something that you might have encountered already or you will encounter definitely in the future. First, I'm going to show you how to drill through a measure, for example, in a card visual, and then we'll look at some specific cases that might cause side issues. And finally, we'll see how we fix them. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Okay, let's get right into it. Here I have my report. Basically, it's the oil production or oil consumption, gas production, gas consumption per subregion. Subregion is in my dimension table. And definitely we can imagine that there is also country in our dimension table. For example, here I have my Eastern Africa for this number. If I want to go to the details and know which countries making up this number, I will need to have a details page, right? What I'm going to do, I'm going to make another page. And in this page, I'm basically just going to copy this, control C, and paste it here. But the difference is going to be, I'm going to just add the country level in this table. So country, I'm going to add country, let's say here, right? So now I have country also, it's bigger table. We don't want to have this in our first page, in our report page. What I'm going to do, so basically we know how we drill through dimension. Basically I'm going to add in the drill through section. My dimension that was used here was the subregion. Therefore, I'm going to bring the subregion here. Simple, right? If I want to see this 217 kilo barrels per day, are coming from which countries, I'm going to go to the second page and I see there are two countries, right? So it's not really a measure, drills through a measure, right? It was through a dimension, it was sub-region. What we want to see is that if I want to drill through a measure, this can be a card, right? This card here is showing even more global number. It's the total of oil production, which is this number here. There isn't even a subregion here. So I want to be able to go in details, right? Imagine your boss doesn't want even this table here. He only cares about this number, but he wants to have the option to drill through this number and go to the details. To go to the details, this number here comes from a measure. And this measure is oil production. Simple measure, some of the oil production from my fact table. I'm going to come to this page, the same page. This time I'm going to add also this oil production in the drill through section. Now I can drill through also a card. And I have all of the countries that are making this part. So this is our first step. We were able to drill through a measure in a card. But my second example is going to be a bit different. In my second example, imagine in the oil production, in the measure of the oil production, I put another filter, a filter inside the measure. I'm going to copy this measure. Control C, escape, new measure. Control V, this time I'm going to call it F underscore, just to show it it's filtered. Calculate. I'm going to calculate some of the oil production, but this time I'm going to filter my oil table, which is the oil stats. I'm going to only want to sum the oil production where the production is more than 10,000 barrels per day, right? I only want the biggest oil producers. I have the column oil production, Q barrel per day, and I want this to be bigger than 10,000. This is my new measure. I copy this card and paste it. I put next to it. This time I'm bringing my new measure. And this measure, I'm going to make it whole number Right. This means that if I only sum the countries with the oil production more than 10,000 barrels, kilobarrels per day, I have this number. I have 38 instead of 85. 
And now imagine I want to drill through this one. I need to bring the new measure here. So I'm going to bring this time, this measure in the drill through section. Therefore, now if I drill through, I'm going to this part. But as you see, I, I don't see only the countries with more than 10,000, right? It is true that I have put this measure in my drill through section, but this is as if I was drilling through this number. If I go through this number, it's going to give me exactly the same table. So what we are going to do, I'm going to add this measure in this table also. So I'm going to add this oil production here, filtered oil production. Now, as you see, it's showing one line here, second line here, and third line here. This means that if I drill through this number, I am still going to have all of them plus this one. But this might be not our objective, meaning that I probably don't want to see the other lines here. If we only want to see the three lines where the oil production is more than 10,000 kilobarrels per day, what I can do, I am going to copy this page, duplicate. I'm going to call this page three. In this page, I'm going to take up oil production, gas production, gas consumption, and only keep my, my filtered measure, right? When I'm going to drill through to the page three, I have only three countries with more than 10,000 kilobarrels per day oil production. What I'm going to do now, because right now, if you see, if I drill through, I have two options. I don't want this. What I'm going to do, in the second page, I'm going to take out the filtered measure. And in the third page, I'm going to take out oil production. Therefore, when I'm in my main page, I can only drill through page two for this one and drill through page three for this one, right? Okay, our third example is a bit different. And this time we change a little bit the measure. I'm going to take the same measure as the filtered oil production. This time I'm going to count the number of countries. Basically, I want to see how many countries have the oil production bigger than 10,000 kilobarrels barrels per day, right? So I'm going to, this time, just call it large producers. And instead of sum, I'm going to just count rows. I'm going to count rows the table. And I only need the name of the table, right? So I hit enter. I'm going to copy and paste this card. And this time, instead of this measure, I'm going to bring the other measure. Okay, I have three countries with the oil production more than 10,000 Q barrels per day. Now, if I want to drill through this one, I would like to have another page that shows me what are the countries, right? So I'm going to duplicate page number two. I'm going to call this page four, right? And this time, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have only this new measure to drill through, right? Let's see how it works. We drill through to the page four. I see everything. I still have all of the countries, right? I only want to see three countries, but this time the problem would be, I would like to have the details about the oil production, gas production, oil consumption, but at the same time, see only three lines. What we can do is that I'm going to here in the filter section, bring this measure, which is the large producer. And I want to make this measure always one, right? What this measure is doing. Basically, this measure is a count rows, right? When I put it one, it means that there is a one for this line. If I haven't put this and I only, I could bring also this measure here, right? 
like I did for the page three, I could only keep this number where I have number one also. But what I can do also is that I don't want to see this one here. What this one is telling us, it is basically telling us that this country has been counted because this country has more than 10,000 cube balance per day. And also this country has been counted because it has more than 10,000 cube balance per day. Instead of putting this one here, I bring it here and I always keep it as one. And when I apply filter, I only see three lines. So basically when I am on the page one, I can drill through to the page four. I can keep all of the details and I still see only three countries by basically keeping this filter here and locking and you don't even need to show it in the published version. And we, we could actually basically do the same here. I could keep the gas production or oil production, but what I could do instead, I'm going to add gas production, gas consumption. What I could do, I have already the oil production here. I could actually say that is not blank and apply this filter. And I will always have three lines, but these three lines are basically the three lines that are also in this card. I find my number here also, right? What I would suggest is that basically when you publish this report, you wouldn't like to have these pages shown. You can hide them. But also probably you don't want to call them page two, page three. Now we can have different pages with the same name and I suggest you calling all of them details so that when you publish the report, it is much cleaner, right? Now I have three pages. When I publish my report, I will only see the first and main page. And when I drill through, I only see one name, the details page, but I will go to the right page. Right? Always it is called details page. So it's, it's as if you have only one page. I don't need to keep this, this one here, right? Okay, basically that's it. Now you know how to drill through a measure, a card, but also, and more importantly, bypass the recurrent issues. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Thank you very much and see you soon. Bye bye.